Okay, so today we're going to do a quick controls vid of a Cat 14M. There's been a few videos on YouTube I've seen that guys have done videos of the controls of these M series, but they've always missed something or not got the entire control system in one video. So we're going to start with the left hand. First things first is uh, left and right. That controls your steering. You can see um, up and down controls the left hand side of the mold board. Twisting it would be your articulation and this button right here would be your turn to center. These two buttons would be up shift and down shift. Button on the right would be wheel lean right, wheel lean left as you can see. Down here we have forward, neutral, reverse, That's about it for the left hand. Left hand does mostly machine movement, driving, steering, that sort of thing, except for the left hand uh, blade lift. Over here, this machine set up for GPS, so we have our uh, left hand side automatic, kick on, kick out, um, cross slope control if you're doing a road or whatever you gotta do, you can adjust your cross slope right here. And this one is for uh, this machine set up with automatic side shift, so you can pick a line on the GPS, a boundary line or a toe of a slope or something like that. Um, you can kick in automatic side shift and it will control the side shift of the mold board to stay perfectly on that line. Get you perfect toes of slopes and real nice clean lines going on your design. Um, right hand does mostly just blade functions. This would be up and down to your mold board. Um, right and left would be side shift. Twisting would be your circle rotate. Raise up a little bit here. Um, up here on this little hat button, up and down is going to be your uh, mold board angle. Controls your flow, your material, things like that. You can get a little bit more mixing action and just a little bit more material to slide across your blade when you leave it all the way back. When we're running in GPS, we always have to leave it all the way back because uh, otherwise the GPS will get inaccurate reading on the board and you'll get screwed up grade. Um, and right and left on that controls your uh, your carriage side shift. You have a couple of buttons down here. This uh, yellow one right here is your differential lock. And there's the uh, soft touch one here. That'd be for your cruise control or throttle lock, whatever you want to call it. You gotta set that up. And then uh, this button right here would be for your right hand side GPS um, kick on and kick out. That's one thing different about a dozer to a blade is you have to uh, control both sides of your mold board with the GPS. Um, like I said, this machine set up for GPS. I don't have the base station set up quite yet, so we're not really gonna get into that, but That'll be a whole other video. Down here, uh, throttle will be on the right hand side, brakes. They don't call this uh, clutch pedal anymore, it's called an inching pedal now, whatever that means, but you don't have to use it for start and stop or forward reverse, pretty much just if you're in a tight area or something you need to control your power, you can kick that in and out. And uh, got all your gauges up here. Got articulation, fuel, RPMs, engine cooling temperature, hydraulic oil temperature, and then uh, gears would be right now since we're in neutral we're in uh, second reverse and second forward and then uh, miles per hour you can change that to whatever you want it to do and then uh, parking brake secondary steering is right here in case something were to go catastrophically wrong and you need uh, to get off the road or get out of the way of trucks or whatever you got to do these new M series the M2s and uh, this is a newer 14 so it's got a backup camera which I never really use because it's kind of useless um, over here we got your ripper control down up and that's kind of adjustable back and forth right here you can go and change all your settings how fast you want your board to move things like that your whatever you got to do you can do in there um throttle lock this would be your cruise control kick on to kick out you can set it for automatic or manual or nothing so if you kick it into uh auto we can or uh, manual we can kick up the rpms of the engine say here in the morning you want to let it warm up or whatever and we'll just kick it off uh hazards hydraulic lockout lights all these are lights yada 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 this one's set up for the beacon so you can kick the beacon on and then it's got a fan which i don't even think it has a fan um and then your uh table lock so you can put the blade on the ground unlock it and then kick your board out to a 90 or whatever you got to do for doing slope as you can see this one's got gps mass on it and cables so we can't really uh kick it out unless we take that stuff off 
Windshield wipe controls, most important to be your radio and air conditioning, as everyone knows. And that is about it. These M series are really nice machines, it's a lot more comfortable than H. You can move them around a lot better, a lot faster, get more dirt moved. Especially these 14s, they got a lot of power, and good weight to do it. So that's it. Thank